Welcome to Cake Desktop's video tutorial. Today, I will be teaching you how to set up and format your staff profiles. Once you log into Cake Desktop, click on the Staff tab. If you have just downloaded Cake Desktop, then by default, you should be the only employee here listed. If you double click on your profile, you can upload a photo of yourself, fill out your information, and here under the Services tab, you can change your password. But if you would like to change your email address, you will have to do it here. So, to continue on with this tutorial, let us add a new employee's profile. Simply click on the add button below. Here you will fill out all the basic information of your employees, such as name, date of birth, email, phone number, gender, title, and additional notes. The adding and editing of profile photos will be covered in the profile photo video tutorial. In the work schedule section here, you can assign your employee to a classroom. If you would like to assign the staff to a classroom, just click on the magnifying glass and choose from the list. If you would like to add a new classroom, you can add the classrooms from here by clicking the add button, setting the name and capacity of your new classroom, and now this classroom will appear as a template under the configurations tab. Below the classroom is your employee's work schedule. The days and times shown here is your facility's hours of operation. As you can see, Saturday and Sundays is not listed here because my facility is not open on the weekends. Please keep in mind that your staff will not be able to sign in until their start time. Let's say Katie Young works every weekday from 8 to 5. I will set her start time at 7.55 just in case she comes in a few minutes earlier and her end time at 5. To make this process a little faster, I will then control C copy the times of 7.55 and paste it on the next row down for 755 by using Control V. And I'll do this for the rest of them. And I'll also copy the end time of 5 p.m. and then paste it all the way down. And this should make it a little faster. This work schedule is very flexible. The service tab has on display many services available by Cake. If you choose to let this employee access Cake Desktop, you can do so by checking the box for the Cake Desktop and assigning them a password. Their email is by default whatever you entered in the email field here. Next and most importantly is the level of authority. Assigning Katie Young with administrative authority will grant her the ability to do anything in Cake Desktop with no restrictions. But assigning her a manager authority will restrict her from accessing and modifying certain data in Cake Desktop. If you are a Cake member, you can utilize the In-N-Out kiosk and assign your staff their clock In-N-Out PIN number. This is only usable if you are a Cake member. The same applies to Class Kiosk, Cake2Go, and Web Portal, and also SMS services. In the next tab, Katie's contact information can be displayed here. Under Additional Information tab, you can have fields that are not required to be filled out, but helpful. The next tab over is the employee's work experience. Here you can add work experience or training. In the next and last tab is the documents. Here you can upload documents such as driver's license, TB shop records, first aid certificate, CPR card, training hours, or anything pertaining to your employee. Right clicking on the files will give you three options to either open, export, or delete. And congratulations, you have just added your first staff. After adding a couple more employees, you will have a pretty lengthy list. In Cake Desktop, there is absolutely no limit on how many staff members' profile you can have. You can either have a few employees or a few hundred. Here under the Staff tab, you can sort the categories however you want. The layout and format of these categories is the same for the Children, Family, and Staff tab. You can adjust the size of the categories, adjust the display picture size, and move them to another area. Clicking on the categories will sort them alphabetically or numerically. This small button to the left of the column is where you can choose to display or hide certain categories. Let's show picture, last name, first name, phone number, and title. Another cool feature is if you would like to sort only by last name, you can drag the category into the top header and there you have it. A list that is neatly sorted by last names. When you're done, you can simply just drag it out. You can also search for a specific employee with our innovative search bar. Let's search for Donna Perry, and there she is. Note that you do not need to fill out the person's name completely. You can partially spell their names and the list will be filtered accordingly. 
Lastly, everything you see here can be exported to an Excel spreadsheet by clicking this button down below. One thing to note is that you cannot delete your employee's profile. What you can do is inactivate their profiles. If they no longer work for you, let's say Katie Young has decided to quit today, I'll now proceed to inactivate her profile by double clicking on her profile and checking the inactive status button under her profile photo. And now she will be hidden. You can choose to show inactive members at the top next to the search bar here. So if she decides to come back to work, you can reactivate her profile. The process of inactivating a profile is the same for children, family, and staff. The purpose of not allowing you to delete profiles of staff members is because Cake.Stop keeps an accounting record of everyone. We would like to thank you for watching this video tutorial and we hope this video helps. Cake, it's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.